Okay, this is not the video I intended to be the next one I posted, but an idea, idea hit me, so I figured I'd better share it. Um, using the same concept as I did for making the flower stem, so if you go back to the video I have about making a flower on a loom, and the part that I have showing how to make the stem using this little loom with these purple things on it, that same concept is what you're going to use to make this item I made tonight. Now I'm not sure how many people have ever heard of what's called slap bracelets. Basically you can slap them onto your wrist and they'll go around your wrist. Well at my local dollar store they had some. So I had my husband pick one up. But I decided what because I, I had an idea. So I decided that I would enclose it in yarn. So that way it's actually a lot softer when you go to slap it on your wrist. So I thought that was a pretty cool idea. And like I said I used the same idea. You know I had to I think move these out one more to give me the amount of space I needed for the slap bracelet. And basically it's the same concept as when I had the tongue depressor. You work it until the slap bracelet will fit inside. And then like I said, you just hit it and it kind of curls up. So I thought it was really cool because I do have to do a little improvement. I need to actually, I use three strands of yarn on this. So I think I would actually need to use just one. But I was playing around with the, night, you know, the idea. So as I said, it's a slap bracelet. I don't know if you've ever seen them. And basically the slap bracelet will, will curve. So I mean that's what I thought would be really cool because it's a lot softer on your skin than that. So that was just my quick idea. So if you've done the flower and you don't want to make a flower but you want to make something just as cool, the idea that I use for the stem of the flower, go ahead and make yourself, you know, enclose a slap bracelet in it and it just gets you a softer material. Like I said, I think I would have to do one strand or maybe two of the three because when it goes around my wrist, um, let's see if I can get it to go around my wrist when I'm on the camera here. Just one second. There we go. When it's on my wrist, as you can see, it's kind of not closing off as much as it should. So that's why I think I would have to do either a thinner yarn or I would have to just do one strand and do maybe um, the tight, tighter stitch that I normally do, the um, doing the one over two stitch. So it's still tight around it, but thinner than doing three strands at once. But it's still kind of cool. I mean, I figure show it on me. That's what it looks like. Part of my messy house. This is what it looks like when it's on the wrist. Like I said, I thought it was a cool idea, and I just figured I had to share it since I've been lacking in doing videos. I do have ideas in the works. I do have videos planned. Things have just been crazy. So this was something quick I could show, and I hope everyone's having a great night.